Hey guys, thank you so much for watching this video. Please give us a call if you guys are looking to improve your credit score, lower your car payment, buy a car, trade in a car. Uh, if you're looking to purchase your first home, if you're looking to purchase a rental property, we can help you. Give us a call today, 877-205-7771. Talk to you guys soon and thanks again. Hello everyone, this is Calvin Russell, CEO and founder of 850 Club Credit Consultation. Hope everyone's doing well today. Today we're going to talk about why Experian is the best reporting agency in my opinion, okay? Uh, now we're not talking about accuracy, right? Of course, that will play a major role. Uh, but again, the reason why I think it's more so on the business side of things. Uh, they're one of the few, uh, they actually haven't gotten in trouble yet or hacked yet, which I'm sure people are probably trying to get into that system. <laughs> but at the same time, I think they're the most trusted trusted credit bureau um, you know out of all the credit bureaus that are out there okay and let's talk about a few things number one uh, they've been in the information uh, you know age for quite some time I mean they've been getting all types of data on people outside of what's on their credit reports um, a lot of times when companies are looking to verify your identity you know they don't go through TransUnion or Equifax they go through Experian because Experian looks for things that most people will know for example um, you know they go outside of the credit report so like small things, if you guys have ever um, you know, had your identity verified before, they normally ask things that are on your credit report, like, hey, you got a credit card with, you know, uh, you opened up a credit card back in 2017, what company is it with? Um, you know, you have, you worked at a company back in 2010, what company did you work for? That stuff is on your credit report. But then they go a, a step further. They go into what high school you went to, uh, what what phone number, did you, have, did you ever have a phone number in in these last four digits? Um, they ask you what your Zodiac sign is, they ask you, have you been married? You know, look things that you no know, people would have, you would only, of course, I won't say only you would know, but it's not just things that are on the credit report because you could pretty much have someone's credit report and then verify identity, you know, that way. But if you're, if it's things outside of that spectrum, you would have to be that person. And again, experience been in the data, you no know, uh, information, you no, know, I would say for a very long time. And so they can easily get that information and try to, you know, put people together. Not to mention Experian is pretty much buying everybody out. I did a video similar to this uh, not long ago and how they bought out uh, Credit Check Total. And then of course they now have the if you haven't seen the video on that one, the Experian uh, Credit Boost. And it's not just on their site. It seems like they're going to take that. If you sign up for it, it's going to affect all of your Experian scores when everybody sees it. It's going to be on your Experian Credit Report. So this is company-based where they add it to their own report. And then based on that, it's now fed into the algorithm no matter what algorithm you have. So this is major. I think this is probably one of the reasons why, of course, Credit Karma has yet to get Experian to come on board uh, because first off, just so you guys know, there is no dispute necessarily between Credit Karma and Experian because Experian and the other two credit agencies, the main two, um, Equifax and TransUnion, they're, they do, they're the ones that actually created the Vantage score, the number one competition to the FICO score. But I think that they knew long term what the relationship would end up being that, you know, they probably have a different goal. So again, that would be a great day, of course, if you can get all three on Credit Karma. I'm sure they've been working on that. I remember Credit Karma just used to have TransUnion. So that's how long that was. We're talking maybe six years ago, you know? So, but either way, that's just my personal opinion. Of course, there's a lot of liquid cash, you know, in, you know, in, uh, in that company. The stocks are doing well. The company's doing pretty good. And again, they're ready to buy a lot more companies out and try to corner the market and try to be, of course, in my opinion, the absolute best credit reporting agency. Now, we're not talking about, again, not accuracy. I know that plays a role, uh, but they can only go by what data is supplied to them. And remember, it's up to you to make sure that things are corrected, especially if you have a common name, Mary Jones, Brandon Williams, just names like that. I mean, you have to to make sure you stay on top of it. Now, again, like I mentioned before, there's nothing wrong with outdated information. You have to make sure that information is correct because there's a lot of things that happen whether we apply for something or we co-sign for someone. That's a lot of times how stuff gets mixed up too, okay? But either way, that's just my personal opinion. I wanted to share that with you guys. If you like this video, like it. If you want to share it, share it. And as always, be sure to subscribe as we have nothing but great content on the way. Thank you guys so much. Have a great day.